Singapore, there are more night activities in the public areas. And number two, maybe that in Singapore, a lot of families are dual income and the parents return home from work late. So most of the time, the kids will want to stay up to wait for the parents. So as a result, children will sleep a bit later compared to uh, maybe other populations in other countries. With the lack of sleep, the child may feel more hungry and they may eat more, and yet they do not have an uh, increase in energy expenditure. There is an increasing uh, prevalence of overweight and obesity amongst children in Singapore. And uh, there is an increase in number of patients coming to the clinic. It is believed that sleep deprivation or restriction result in a decrease in leptin, which is a satiety hormone, and an increase in ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. As a result of both a decrease in leptin and increase in ghrelin, you'll be more likely to actually take more food. Brain imaging studies have also shown that uh, sleep deprivation can lead to increased desire for unhealthy food. So you can blame your lack of sleep if the next time you try to reach for potato chips. When he reaches home, I think he will just like take an afternoon nap. And then I think at least a minimum of three hours. After which he will wake up for dinner. And then after for dinner, I think you watch some television programs again. So practically Monday to Friday is, is quite sedentary. We send him in to sleep at about 10, 10.30 about there. You can still hear noises from the room about until like 12 midnight. There is a correlation between the duration of sleep as well as uh, increasing BMI. So the shorter the sleep duration, there seems to be a higher BMI. There are many studies in the last uh, 10 years that show an association between shorter sleep duration and increasing adiposity, uh, such as the BMI and body fats. And it seems to be stronger, the association in children and adolescents compared to adults. The kid who is obese, uh, unfortunately, is at a bigger risk of being overweight or obese as an adult, because obesity tends to track over the life course. And um, obesity is a major risk factor, for example, type 2 diabetes. And together with type 2 diabetes, we usually see uh, elevated blood pressure, an increased risk for cardiovascular disease, and several other comorbidities. Sleep requirement varies from uh, through the ages. In uh, very young children, uh, it's encouraged to be at least 14 to 16 hours of sleep a day. Uh, then gradually increase to about maybe 12, 10 to 12 hours in uh, early childhood and mid childhood. And I think in late childhood, it should be at least eight hours a day, if not more. First of all, I think it's quite important that the parents accept the kids as they are and don't put too big expectations on them. That parents could do is try to be good examples. To be good examples for the children, to have a reasonable, healthy lifestyle themselves, do enough exercise, eat in a healthy way, because we know that children tend to follow what the parents are doing. It never occurred to me that due to his lack of sleep that he will actually eat more. Maybe I should ask him to stop sleeping in the afternoon so he can sleep early at night.